Welcome to Softfront SMB CRM for the small to medium sized business. This tutorial is to give you a brief overview of the capabilities of our CRM. Let's begin starting at the home screen. This is your home screen. The home screen is divided into four main sections, marketing, sales, service, and settings. Let's start with marketing. The first item we see is email template. Email templates are used to create newsletters and drip campaigns. We have included several library templates, over 100, that you can modify to create your own templates. The next is web forms. Web forms allow you to capture leads from your website and social media sites as well. Next is broadcast campaigns. Broadcast campaigns is an email blast sent to a group of leads and or contacts. Example of a broadcast campaign is a monthly newsletter. As mentioned earlier, we will use email templates as part of your broadcast campaign. First, we design the email template and then include it in the broadcast campaign. Next, we move to touch campaigns. Touch campaigns are similar to broadcast campaigns. However, a touch campaign is a series of messages sent at specific intervals. For example, you can see message one, two, and we can add three, four, and we can determine the interval at which we want to send each of these messages. Lastly, I'm going to show you reports. Reports are essential because they let you see the progress of both your broadcast campaign and your touch campaign. They allow you to see information on what your leads did with the information you sent to them. For example, like your monthly newsletter. So we click on reports, we can see that your campaign name was called webinar training, your target when it was executed on, the status, and how many people this was sent to, how many it bounced, etc. This is valuable information. The next section is sales. The first item in sales is calendar and tasks. This is the section where you set up your appointments so you can view them by day, week, month. Tasks are also set up in this section. You can get a snapshot view of your task at any time by clicking on tasks. As you can see, it is divided up into completed today, today, overdue, and upcoming. Under calendar and tasks are leads and customers. This is a very important section because this is where all of your information is stored for your leads and customers. Also displayed in this section are a group of icons that are displayed that allow you to complete different action for each lead and customer. Underneath leads and customer we have contacts. Contacts is a list of all your contact records that have not gone through a workflow or made into a lead or a customer. And then also under the sales section is opportunities. Opportunities is a very important part of your sales plan. This gives you a snapshot of the different opportunities you have within each lead. It gives you more information to create an accurate forecast. Speaking of forecast, that's next. This gives you the ability to accurately predict your sales. This could be divided up into sales rep or a period of time. Next we come to documents. Documents is a holding place for documents that you need to have and also want to share with your customers. This is one of the places that you can store documents that you may want to provide a link to when designing your email templates for use in a campaign. The last main entry in sales is reports. These contain three reports. The activity report, these reports show all the activity with your opportunities, leads, 
customers, and your cases. There is a conversion report. Conversion reports will show you how many leads and customers were converted to the next stage of your workflow or sales process. And then the last one is the pipeline report. Pipeline report gives you a graphical representation of your sales forecast and it can be displayed in several different formats. The third section is service. This is a brief section where you're able to track your cases and solutions for your customers as they bring them to you. The last main section I would like to focus on is the setting section. There are important sections within here that you need to pay attention to. Let's start with import. Import is one of the most important sections on your, on your home page. Import is where you take your leads and customers and insert those into the leads and customer form. For example, you can import all your leads and customer information from an Excel spreadsheet and have every bit of that information appear for each lead and customer as a separate entry on a separate form. Next we come to database. This is also an important field. This is where we design our leads and customer form so when we import the information appears here. And every time we open up a lead and contact we will see all of this information. After database, we have workflows. Workflows allow you to set up different stages that you will put your leads and contacts through as they traverse your sales process. For example, the stages we have set up for the sales workflow, research, set phone appointment, opportunity, lead, 15-day free trial, and customer. We can add, delete, or edit these stages as well. Also, within each stage, there are tasks that can be created that must be completed before the customer is converted to the next stage of your workflow. The next two sections involve users and security levels. This is where you can find out and added information about your users and their associated security levels. This shows you information about Joe Hoffman and then under security levels this lists the six security levels that can be assigned. One security level is assigned per user. This allows you to do or not do different things within the CRM tool. Last but certainly not the least important is all settings. Some of this information is redundant, some of it isn't. For example, we can see a list of groups, personal information, password, a recycle bin, this is where you can change your logo, manage your subscription, and integration. What is also not listed here is Microsoft Outlook as we do integrate with the Microsoft Outlook. Hopefully this was a very informative tutorial of the many capabilities our SMB CRM tool has to offer. If you need further information, I invite you to click on the Help button in the upper right hand corner where you'll be directed to other video tutorials and knowledge-based articles and have a connection to the technical support department.